What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today we're actually gonna get Clyde fixed up. The last time we ran it or drove it around like a car show, it uh, had a transmission rear sill leak. I think the it went out again. That's what happened to us on the, I think the first race week. And uh, well, it leaks. You can't see it right now. Hopefully it still has some fluid in it because it's been leaking pretty bad when we're driving. So we're gonna get it pulled in. We're gonna pop the seal out. I think it's because the drive shaft is out of balance. The place that built it couldn't balance it right. They said it should be really close, but I think it's off by enough. It keeps messing up the seal. So I'm gonna get pulled in here and try to fix this thing before free car event, because we want to take it out and uh, you know have it on display. Maybe try to make some passes. It still cuts, I think, weird in third, but we'll take it out and see if it still does it. Beep beep. Should be good. So we're actually trying to get Clyde fixed up so because we have the lift available and able to be used because we're getting ready to bring the Camaro over and put it back on the lift so then we can work on Salty some more. So yeah, we're going to try to get it knocked out real quick. Alex just got off work, came over to help. Yeah. Ready to fix the uh, transmission sill for the second time? Yep. <laughs> Does it look like we got a leaky sill? Yep. The reason the shop couldn't like balance it's because of this deal i guess which really they should just hook this up balance and then hook this because this all billet should be pretty balanced but uh either way pop the shaft out of it real fast get the seal out of it which last time we did that was not fun it, it took us a little bit of fighting and uh flat heads and prying and popping and getting it but uh we'll get her popped out of there it won't be too bad and get a new one in it took us like four or five days to get a new seal in which was crazy but look how much fluids all over the Mm -hmm. Yep, it, it kicks it out all over the place. So. Oh, yep. Right. Wait a minute. I forgot about this part. I think we gotta take that nut out. Mm -hmm. Do I have a special tool for that nut? I thought we did. Mm -hmm. I thought we went and bought one the first time we changed this. I hope so. One way or enough, another we got it out before. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's not marred, so we didn't do it with a hammer and a flathead. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring now. <laughs> so I just looked back at our old video where we were swapping the seal, and we bought a 30 millimeter nut to remove that one, and now we don't know where that 30 millimeter nut is. Usually I keep it, if it's specific for the Socket. car, I keep it with the car. So is it in the glove box? Socket. <laughs> Socket? What? It's not a 30 millimeter nut we bought. Oh, they're going to sock it. it. And I put it in the glove box. See? Put it with the car. That makes sense. I'm glad I had that epiphany after whatever, two years of us doing it last time. So, all right. Now, now we can get that thing off there. Now I need the ratchet. So I was trying to remember how to do this seal change. And it's the craziest thing. I YouTube how to do a seal change 6L80 Mazda RX-272. And Bam. There it is. Somebody's at, oh wait, that's us. Yep, that's our video where we already did this once. But hey, it actually works out really well because that reminded us that I already did by the socket and how we uh, got this dang seal out of there because I remember last time it was not fun. So we figured out on the other videos, we just beat the shit out of one spot until it folds in and releases it and then it should pop out. Should. So, got it out and you can see where it's just been tearing up the edge of that seal. Not good. Not ideal. For whatever reason, Clyde likes to eat transmission seals. So pretty sure it's balanced with the drive shaft. We'll try to get it uh, get it fixed there too. Uh, razor blade. Yo. Howdy. What's up? Zoomed in. Oh, sorry. Yep. Why? Why what? Why are you zooming? So I have the technology. Well, I may have a problem. There's a little lip right there. It's starting to like knock it out almost. So you can see where it's cracked there at the bottom and starting to fold it out. So I don't know if it's from this piece here starting to kind of waller itself. Um, probably maybe from the drive shaft play or whatever, but that's probably what's killing the seals for sure. So uh, yeah, not great. Clean that area up the best we could. It is starting to crack the little tilt housing. 
So I'm pretty sure we're just gonna put it together for the vent and then afterwards we'll get the drive shaft balance and then actually probably try to find a new one of these like rear, I don't know, pieces of the case or whatever and then we'll swap it out and then we'll get back from that. So um, I'll have to be looking out for one of those here soon, but uh, otherwise send it the best we could. Glad it's got like eight or 10,000 miles on it as is and just beating that thing up. So well, it's another couple hundred miles on it. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and Send her back up and hope for the best. All right, so it's all back together. Box the letter down. 6L80s are weird. You actually start them while they're running, keep adding fluid until it comes out, out the little leveling uh, drain bolt thing, whatever you want to call it. So uh, we'll get down, throw some fluid in it, back this thing out, and then hopefully we can go load up salty and finish the other video that you've probably already seen. I got the car running. I pulled the little uh drain bolt but it's not a drain bolt it's a level bolt now and there's no fluid dripping out of that the level hole so i just got to keep adding fluid i didn't have my funnel so got this little handy dandy deal just going to keep pumping fluid into it until it starts dripping out of the oil pan coming out of it we're good to go it actually took a couple quarts so it definitely been running down low so i'm gonna grab my bowl set it back in there tiny bit of extra tranny fluid never hurt no one especially in a car that it usually kicks it out now i should be good to go as long as uh you know the transmission still holds up and doesn't get knocked out within a short time but first time it's five thousand miles second time it's three thousand miles maybe we can get you know 1500 out of it before we lose it all right everyone so a little update on clyde he did end up making it to the free car event we weren't able to make any passes because well the transmission still leaks fluid not as bad but because of that crack where it beat up the tail housing it still leaks so we definitely need to get a new tail housing get the drive shaft out hopefully get it balanced hopefully that fixes everything so hopefully then we can do some upgrades and do some more fun stuff with the car up here but we need to get that stuff fixed even so i can take to more car shows today driving this thing around and having transmission fluid drip out of it all the time so more coming on that we'll have more Clyde updates here in the future so if you want to see that make sure you hit that like and subscribe button we'll see you next time